Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Well, back in March, March 24th, 2014, is when I came out with my, oh, I think it was actually the first 3D little ball, okay? And uh, as you could see, it was just basically little fishtails, little chains that were joined together, and it formed a little ball. Well, what I thought we'd do today is use it as a lollipop cover especially now that we have Easter coming up I thought we'd use some Easter colors so it sort of looks like a little Easter egg gift um, so I'm going to use what we call here the dum-dums but it could be any kind of little lollipop you have I guess you don't want something too huge but uh, there we go I'm using different colors I'm going to be using 20 of each of these colors so I'm using 20 pink 20 of this orangey color these are the pastels that um, are with rainbow loom 20 yellow 20 green 20 blue and 20 of the um, purple I'm also going to use a tie-off band um, so it's it's uh, I believe two pink are going to be my tie-off bands um, so that's what we need. Now we can do this on the loom or we can do this on the hook. I'm going to show you both ways. Both are very easy and simple. And as you see, there's the dum dum inside there. I love the name dum dum. I mean, it's so cute, isn't it? So if we were doing it on our loom, you can do multiple at the same time because what we have here are little chains of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we're coming down six and we have 10 of them, 10 of them in this little ball. All right, so you would start with the color and you'd always have to make sure that the colors are, are the same um, order if you're doing it like this. But I mean, you can do it whatever color you want. Um, I was thinking I was going to do a bunch of these in red and pink um, for my little girl to take for her Valentine treats for school, which I thought would be rather sweet. So you come all the way down like this with your with your bands and we're double banding. OK, the open part of the peg is facing towards us. So you put two, 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 two and two. All right. Now, if we were doing this on the loom, I need to make a little bit of space for my loom. Come on, guys, out the way. Budge, budge up, budge up, budge up. There we go. All right. So if we're doing this on our loom, OK, my last two bands that I'm going to use, I'm going to put on and I'm going to use as an end cap, but I'm only going to, to twist it once. I'm using two bands and I've done a figure eight. OK, and I'm just going to pop those on the end like that. OK. And you can set up multiple of these. Because you can do more than one at a time when you're doing it on the loom. Again, you'll put your orange and then take your two pink. These are our last two color. Twist it. Mine's going to be the opposite way from the from the first one. And just put those two twisted bands on the end here. Now, bear in mind, I said we need to do 10 of these. So let's do some on here and then we'll change and do them on our hook so you're familiar with that method as well and then the kids as a treat they get to have their little piece of candy lolly sweetie and uh, then at the end of it they still get their little treat of the little 3d ball gosh if i could do a figure eight there we go pop that on the end like that. Now we can do another set down here. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. I must need more coffee. <laughs> Remember, you take the two pink, put them on your hook, do a figure eight, and pop here like so. And you can do them any colour. Red and white stripes, pink and white, 
um, you could make them red, white and blue if it was 4th of July. Um, really, it's completely up to you. They're so versatile, but they're good just for a little, a little treat. Halloween would be fun, wouldn't it? Having them in orange and black. And putting them on your Halloween candy. Okay, so let's do twos here. Now, you will need some sort of holding hook. Um, it can be a pencil if you don't have another hook to hold it on. Um, I use, I had bought these when I first started looming. I bought these hooks, which were metal hooks. They were the only ones I really knew about. I didn't know about these ergonomic ones that were nice and easy. So I had a bunch of these, and I, then I realized these sort of were very, very sharp and were cutting things. So I used these as my holding hooks. But... Do you remember the packets of bands that you can get where they've got those sort of poxy little plastic hooks? Those are fantastic to use as holding hooks. You could use a knitting needle, you could use a toothpick, you could use a chopstick, um, you could use the, the end of a pencil. Whatever you have to use as a holding hook, it will work. So what you're going to do is go down past the pink and just loop up all of these little chains that we just made. remember they are double looped there's no crossover bands you want them just to be single so we've got those three let's do these three Day, you could do green ones. These pastel colours are very sweet, aren't they? I just wish we didn't have to uh, sort them. That takes half the day. Okay, so when you have them looped up, and these are just our loom ones, we're going to do them on the hook as well. Take your holding hook and you're going to put these on one at a time on your holding hook. Okay, remember there's going to be, did I say ten? I think that's right. You have to take pity on the old girl. Got a memory like a sieve now. <laughs> Sometimes I'm lucky I remember who I am. I'm always telling Izzy, can you go and throw this in the dishwasher, darling? And she just looks at me. You know, it's dirty clothes. It's supposed to go in the washing machine, not the dishwasher. She just shakes her head. So, as I said, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So we've done six. We need to do four more. I'll show you how to do them on our hook move my loom out the way so you're going to start by taking your two pink remember how we start when you lay on the loom you start from the top and work down when you do it on the hook you do it the other way so you start at the bottom which is twist your two pink and then we work up this way take your two orange peachy color and then we've got two yellow and you just slide them on like this and then we have two green and two blue and two purple okay that's how you do it on your hook I'm going to put these on my holding hook so that they're all together we're going to do another three. So start with your pink. And then slide on. And you're just doing it in a figure eight. You're not doing a big old you know, wrap around. You just put it through, twist it, and wrap it once in a figure eight. Slide on to your orange. Your yellow. Your 
green. Your blue and purple. I'm going to pinch this here and move to my holding hook. Two more to go. Put it through and twist. Now, depending on what colours you use, depends how many of each you're going to use. For, as I said, for these I used 20 of each colour and you're doing 10 so uh, blue and purple pinch And our last is our pink, and twist it once, our orange, our yellow, our green, our blue, <laughs> and purple. Gosh, could be chunk of silicon in those bands that was interesting all right so I'm going to pinch these here just pinch them like this and pop them on my holding hook now my tie off bands I've got two pink for the bottom here and one purple okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to start with my purple I'm going to pop the purple on the end of my hook and I'm slowly, what I what I try and do is twist my hook so that this is on the underside, so it's not going to catch on the top of the bands like this. If I have it on the underside, as I slide it through, it goes in that V part of the band and it doesn't catch as much. Keep this nice and tight. So as you slide it through, it's going down the V. Can you see? You want to make sure that you don't get stragglers caught. You remember you've only got one band on the end of your hook. So if you suddenly look like you've got two bands on the end of your hook, you're like, mm -mm, somebody's trying to stow away. So slide them all over. And that can be a tricky part. Put your end back on your hook like this. And you're going to take the end closest to you, up and over. And then you have one loop left on your hook. The one, the little fishtail that's closest to you, this little chain that's closest to you, you're going to splay that little loop open and you're going to pop it over that first little set of chains. Okay, so it's holding on like that as a little anchor. And it's very pretty as a little star, isn't it? All right. Now what we have to do, we have to collect up all these little end caps that we have, all these little pink end caps, we're going to collect them all up on our hook. And you've got four little loops that you're going through, so collect them all up, put them on your hook. It's going to be a bit tight and squeezy, but you can do it. Make sure they're not too twisted. So Let me see this one, yep that's right. Thankfully they all squidge down a bit because it's quite tight on there, especially if you've got one of these hooks that has the handle that's padded. I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to put it on my finger like this and again I'm going to twist my hook. Hey, come back here. <laughs> I'm going to twist my hook so that the hook bit is facing down and I'm going to slide these over and on. Again, it can take a bit of time. You're going to join these two ends up. And you're not going to try and tie a knot. You're going to take another band, put it on the end of your hook, slide it through both of those little loops, reclaim and take the one closest to you, up and over and tie a slip knot. Okay, so this is our 3D 
little ball. Now you can hide if you poke your hook through some of these pink bands through the center of them you can hide the tie off band in the center here all right so that nobody's nobody's any the wiser that there's a tie off band there so just hide that through like that okay so there's our little 3d ball which is what your chums will end up with after they've eaten their dum dum now what you're going to do is get your little lollipop split your ball open and you're going to pop the end the stick down one side so down through here like that splay this open so you can pop the dum dum inside like this and wiggle the chains around so that it hides your little dum dum your little lollipop and there you have make sure this isn't twisted there you have your little lollipop cover i really hope you enjoy making them take care bye